And we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. As we gather here this morning as God's family, with confidence we call upon our Heavenly Father, knowing of His mercy and of His compassion. Lord, you are the gift of peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to be a visible sign of your love. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you will come again in all your glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Grant that your people, we pray, Almighty God, may be ever watchful for the coming of your only begotten Son, that as the author of our salvation himself has taught us, we hasten alert with lighted lamps to meet him when he comes. For he lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I, the Lord, your God, teach you what is for your good and lead you on the way you should go. If you would hearken to my commandments, your prosperity would be like a river and your vindication like the waves of the sea. Your descendants would be like the sand and those born of your stock like its grains. Their name never cut off or blotted out from my presence. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those, Those who follow you, Lord, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord, and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord will come. Go out to meet him. He is the Prince of Peace. Alleluia, alleluia. And the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare this generation? It is like children who sit in marketplaces and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He's possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking. They said, Look, he's a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by her works. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To what shall we compare this generation? Jesus asks. 
And I think every time we have to realize that we do the same thing. We make our comparisons. And we're probably all not, all not that different from those Jesus was speaking to. For how quickly do we dismiss those around us simply because they don't live up to the expectations that we have for, for them? How quickly do we dismiss those around us because they don't behave the way we want them to behave? or say the things that we want them to say, or do the things that we want them to do. They cook funny food. They have funny accents. They don't act and behave like I do. Are we dismissing the John the Baptist in our lives? Are we missing even the Son of Man in our lives? Simply because we dismiss them, because they don't live up to the expectations that we have. How many times have we dismissed God's presence from our lives? simply because it doesn't live up to what I want, when I want it, how I want it. How quickly are we willing to dance to the tune of our own actions and our own desires than to that of our gods? Perhaps in these last few days or weeks of Advent, we can ask ourselves, are we truly prepared? Are we truly awake? Are we truly mindful of our actions and our words? And are we living in such a way that we truly hope to inspire one another to be prepared for the coming of the Messiah, the coming of Christ into our lives. And I invite you to stand. And together now we have the courage to make known our needs and our desires to our loving and compassionate Father. Let's pray for our church, for our Holy Father, our bishops, and all the women and men who serve in the name of Jesus Christ. For them let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Pray for lasting peace and justice throughout our world, to an end of war, terrorism, and racism. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray that we may truly be open to the possibilities of God's in our lives, the mysterious words and actions of our God, and live in such a way that we inspire others to do the same. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Continue to pray for an end to the pandemic. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Pray for all those who are sick, hospitalized, and homebound, and all those entrusted with their care. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our pray for all those who have died, those who will die today, and particularly those who will die alone. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our and let's take a moment and silently pray for our own intentions. And we pray for all our intentions, including the intentions for Dominico Wynn and Teresa Vanacker. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Good and gracious God, we make known to you our needs and our desires, those we speak aloud and those we speak in the silence of our hearts. We ask that you grant them, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed do you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread that we offer, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. And blessed do you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine that we offer, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Yes. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and your hands, for your praise and glory unto me, for our Lord and the Lord Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue, with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design that you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hold. And so with the angels and the archangels, with the thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we join the hymn of your glory, as without end we now acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Oscar, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious, remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And together now, let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant to peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of that peace. Mm -hmm. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who comes, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And I invite you to be seated at this time. As become our custom, we'll begin over here in this section to my right. We'll go to the back row, to the third row, the second row, the first row. Need to sanitize your hands, extend your hands, demask here, consume here, remask here, and return back to your seats that way.
and let us pray. Replenish by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth, and to hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Master this morning has come to its end. May we go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Amen. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you.